Mundi family, you're now part of the MD gang. You are an old subscriber, thank you for coming back here to the family. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome to the family. My name is Maki Kale and this is my YouTube. Today, we're going to have a part two of the get to know me tag. Last time we filmed a video where I say that I would go onto my Instagram, ask you guys what you've always wanted to know about me and I will answer those questions. And we got a massive amount of replies. So happy guys for the support, I'm so grateful. Second, third, first questions are all asking which country I'm from. I'm from the beautiful, beautiful... I'm only calling it small because we have a population of about 2 point something million people and that's small compared to other countries. So I'm from a beautiful republic of Namibia which is situated in the southern part of Africa where we share borders with Zambia and Angola on the north and borders with South Africa on the southeast. And such a beautiful country. I'm happy to be out of uh, the teens and now into the early 20s. Excited for what the 20s have for me. Uh, you know, this is the decade where we finally get to start our families, we finally get married, we finally have kids, settle down and start enjoying life the way it does need to be. To live. My favorite color is definitely green. Dark, rich, luscious, luxurious green. I like it because there's something so unique about it that just makes me just does that thing to me and that's why it's my favorite color i don't really wear it often but when i do find clothes in that rich green i do find them but rarely so because they're very costly so, so definitely i'm definitely a country girl okay i listen to country music all the time if i had to choose whether to live in the city or to live in the countryside i would definitely choose the countryside and just be, you know, low-key life, enjoying life, enjoying the best things in life. That's definitely my vibe. But I do love quite a music too. I do listen to it. But if I had to choose between the two, it would definitely be, you know, country music. So this person wanted to know what country I'm from. So I got this question a lot of times. I'm so proud to be a Namibian. So I am not a model. I'm just a girl next door who likes taking pictures. I like taking pictures all the time. This next person wanted to know if I'm Zulu or Nosa. Nosa. Kosa. It's this is South African tribes for those who don't know. And no, I'm not. I am a Ndonga speaking lady. So not in Ndonga. Ndonga is not. Is Ndonga a language or a tribe? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I am a Noshuamba speaking lady. I'm a Ndonga lady. So from the northern part of our beautiful country and guys, I'm gonna give you one tip. Never ask a lady ever ever how much she weighs, whether it's on a date or you guys are just talking or you guys are just texting. It's so rude, you know. Okay, okay. But I hope you go. So this next person wanted to know uh, why I always have a positive outlook on life. I have one reply for that, and that reply is God. I'm a Christian and not because I grew up in a Christian family or a Christian household because um, it's because I've gotten to know God for myself. I've gotten to know Jesus for myself and accept him as my savior. And I've gotten the pleasure to make him my friend. And I think that's what gives me my positive outlook on life because I know I'm okay. I know like whatever happens, he's got my back. I know he's there for me. I know he's there to support me. Whatever I want, he's able to get it for me. He's there to comfort me. He's there to teach me what unconditional love is. He's there to teach me how to forgive others, how to have a positive mind. He's there to instill zeal in me so that I always look at the brighter side of things and so that I'm able to work hard and work on my dreams and to be confident in who I am, to be confident that I will reach my goals, be whoever I want to be. I think that's what gives me such a positive outlook on life and I'm so grateful for the chance to have him and to know him and if you've never heard of this before and you think it's a wonderful thing to do i think you should try it out because god is really amazing and yeah that's why i'm always so positive i want to see you guys too 
but I hope it was possible in some way though. So this next person, I'm so flattered, like you're crushing on me. First I wanted to know what tribe I am, so as I said before, I am an Oshindonga speaking person. I'm from the Andonga people tribe. I I like to think that I'm fluent in the language. Onga evina jenjo nga emeke No handi popi iraka joshi ndonga Nga ya onka zano kwa ndonga I'm proud to be ndonga Thank you so much I appreciate the compliments You guys are the sweetest So sweet So this person wanted to know what high school I attended So I attended Oshirambo High School So if you don't know what that is Or where that is It's somewhere in the northern part of the country in a small little village town called Oshigambo, that's where I'm from. Really good school, really prestigious school, and I'm so proud to have gotten an education from there. And when it comes to long distance relationships, I personally believe that if you are willing to put in the effort, if you are willing to put in the time, the energy, if you're willing to listen to your partner, love on your partner, if you're willing to give them attention and be there for them and communicate and support each other, nothing can break you guys down, you can make it work. I promise you this, you can make it work if you're willing, you can make it work. Of course, you have to trust each other, you have to be very honest and no cheating, no doing any shady things with girls or guys, you know, you can always really make it work. So the next person wanted to know which country I'm from. Again, I am from the beautiful southern African country called Namibia. If you've never heard of Namibia, really, you guys should go on Google, bruh. Go on Google, type it in, you'll get a lot of information about our luscious plains, our luscious landscapes, our beautiful seas, our beautiful deserts, our beautiful wildlife, such a beautiful country and I'm so proud to be from them. So the next person wanted to know which country I'm from again, like I said I'm from Namibia and this next person wanted to know uh, what it would take to be my friend. Um, the way I'm looking at this question, I think this person wants to know uh, what qualities I look for when I'm considering somebody to be my friend. And <clears throat> uh, if I have to narrow it down to maybe five elements that do make up a good friendship, I think being your authentic self is very important to me. Be yourself because I'll love you for the way you are. I'll love you for just the way you are. And I would like somebody whose sense of humor I understand so that we could be dying together. Yeah, shout out to Caesar, man. Shout out to Caesar, man. On the floor, somebody whose sense of humor that I enjoy and understand, somebody who, you know, is honest, somebody I can trust, somebody who can be my cheerleader and I can be there too. I think that's what makes a good friendship. Yeah, and if you wanna be my friend, girl, or guy, I am down, let's do this. So, but you should know I, <laughs> I like counseling plans, but that's a talk for another day. That's a story for another day. Um, definitely Nicki Minaj, I love her so much. A powerful um, representative in the musical community, in the rap community. I love what she represents, I love the message that she gives. I love how confident she is, how iconic. That's why she's my favorite music artist. And I was scrolling through my YouTube and I came across this document. I love, before we even go, I love watching documentaries. So I was on YouTube now. I was scrolling and I came across this documentary. It's basically this South African woman. Uh, back in the day, she, uh, when South Africa was going through, you know, um, the apartheid, and going through their struggles, you know, uh, her parents sent her to go and study in Zimbabwe because at the time Zimbabwe was like the capital city of Africa, man. Uh, people send their kids there because their education is one of the best in Africa, uh, in the world. Let me just be uh, point blank, period. It was one of the best in the world. Their healthcare system was good. Her parents used to send their kids over there. So after zimbabwe went through the economic crisis and the recession that it did go through that it went through um 
things weren't looking too well for the people of the country so she decided to go back and make a documentary and find out exactly what's happening so as you watch the documentary she focused on i think five families we had this little eight-year-old girl who was taking care of her her mother who had aids take care of the mother and the baby and feed and clothe them uh, this little boy an orphan who lived with the grandmother no means of income whatsoever this little boy had to pan for gold with like the friends or they had to catch birds just to have a meal we are so privileged we are so lucky to have the opportunities that we have to be able to go to school because their school fees was free and people had no food they have no cleaning water access to health care access to little luxuries that they have like electricity or games or any type of fun many things that we do require for the normal you know healthy development of infants and toddlers and adults and not that these people don't have this type of things and watching the documentary really gave me a lot of insight in how unfair life is you know and how we have such a huge gap between you know the poor and the rich and how sometimes our governments let us down and i think that's the most touching thing i've ever watched that documentary it really um it really opened my eyes my favorite tv show i have to narrow it down to three tv shows uh, i grew up watching vampire diaries since i was like 12 years old i think it aired for like eight years so i basically grew up with it damon salvatore stephen salvatore uh nina dobrev i love them so much and i think it has to be in the top three of one of my favorite tv shows so uh, gossip girl girl that's like one of my top two shows and i repulse strike race i don't know if you guys know about it but it's basically a platform where mama rule uh gets these contestants who may be trans or or um i guess straight sometimes or gay so they get a platform where they can be their authentic selves and they compete to uh get the crown of america's next drag superstar and it's such an amazing show and i love it so much because of the message that it represents and the message that it gives out to the world because you know homosexual people do really go through a lot in this in this world they get killed altered they get harassed just for being who they are and for their sexuality and i think to create a platform where we can say that it's okay for some people to be like that it's okay for them to be able to express themselves without being killed without us being so judgeful i think i think that's such a good message to put forward guys i <laughs> i i don't think i have a crush right now but i've been crushing on ian Somerhalder for quite a while now and by quite a while i mean a couple of years so maybe him yeah guys um i wish i had a salary but i don't i'm unemployed unfortunately so i do not earn a salary because i'm um, Thank you so much. I really do appreciate the compliments again. They mean so much to me. Mates, maybe. And by this, um, assuming they're talking about WhatsApp, I not really share my personal contact details on social media. Unless we do get acquainted down in the DMs, we become friends, we get to know each other, and then we decide to move the conversation to, to our personal WhatsApp. We live in not wholly not sharing my contact details because i have met a lot of amazing people on social media and they now play an important part in my life so it's obviously a sexual question and i did get a, a few of those and to answer your question next question you know what my take on the me too movement for those who don't know the me too movement is basically a movement on many social media platforms where uh, victims of domestic violence maybe sexual harassment or any sort of get a chance to be able to say me too to be able to say hey i've also gone through the same thing so basically the reason for all these things to come out is for people to get courage maybe to 
go out and get counseling some sort of counseling help or to be able to go to uh, the officials to report the people who abuse them and to also give hope to other people who've been you know abused so that they can get the chance to come out and talk about it and stuff and I think it's such a, a good moving platform and I support the message that it represents. There are, quite, there are quite a number of people who believe that it's unfair for victims to be believed right off hand to be like believed immediately uh, that somebody had assaulted them because sometimes it's not true. If you look at the numbers, I think it's much safer, huh, if we believe that people that have been abused and we try to offer them, you know, uh, some sort of counseling, some sort of support, help to bring their, um, the people who abuse them to justice. I think it's much fairer to do that than um, not believing people at all unless we have some sort of evidence. Uh, but I obviously don't condone humiliating and defaming other people, uh, especially those who have been claimed to have abused, because um, like the other um, party or group of people say, it is true that some people get defamed for things that are not true. It brings out the most light and smile out of me. And I have to say that, whew, the things that make me happy food brand food food makes me so happy and i appreciate the people in my life who like to bring me food who like to cook for me and i think food makes me so happy i think knowing that i have such a good relationship with god makes me happy uh clouds make me happy sunsets make me happy blue skies make me happy pretty dogs make me happy nice cars make me happy many different things make me happy i enjoy so many things especially the little things in life they all make me so happy and this next person wanted to know what my number is. We already talked about my number. Uh, I can share my number on social media unless we get acquainted more in the DMs and get to know each other. And then we might take it to uh, the personal applications where we can get more in contact with each other, maybe become good friends, you never know. So this next person wanted to know if I'm taken or not. Uh, I am taken, guys. I am in a happy relationship. My little channel does grow a little bit more if we do get a little bit more um, MD family members we can all gather around one day for lunch or for dinner and we can just vibe and chat and talk and get to know each other you know like a little meet and greet I'll be so excited to do that maybe if our channel just grows a little bit more we can get up and do that with you guys i'll be so excited to meet all of you guys this next person wanted to again meet i already talked about that next i can give them my number and i already touched the aspect of cell phone numbers and i am a student i am a fourth year medical student and i'm 21 years old i turned 21 um in december this is such such a deep question what makes me who i am? So i love make me who i am my person god makes me who i am and um, my beliefs makes me who i am and i think it will be so hard to like narrow it down to just a few things of who of what exactly makes me who i am but i think as we get to know each other more we'll be able to like get the nitty gritties and the specifics of exactly who i am i think yeah if you're watching this right now, it means you're now part of the MD gang members, the MD family, not gang members because maybe you don't want to be part of the gang, but you're now part of the MD family, which stands for mystical depths. And you are now my friend, you're now my companion, and I love you so much. Yes, you can know me by watching my channel, by interacting with me, engaging with me. You can. Oh, they're saying I give them South American vibes. So, I don't know much about giving out South American vibes, but I think it's a compliment, hey, because South American women are gorgeous, so thank you so much. I wanted to know if I'm from South Africa. So, no, I'm not from South Africa. I'm your neighbor near by South Africa. I'm from Namibia. Yes, I do plan on getting a tattoo. I was supposed to get one a few weeks ago, but because of Corona, because of COVID-19, I wasn't able to do that, so it's postponed for a minute. So the plan is on halt. And where do I plan to get it? 
Next question. <laughs> See ya. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to answer all the questions. So glad that you've stayed until the very end of our video. Thank you so much. I hope that this video gave a lot of insight in who I am. I hope. And before I go, I just want to commend you guys for us hitting 300 subscribers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful for that. Please hit the subscribe button. Please like. I would really appreciate that. I will see you guys later in my next video, which I'm so excited for. And I hope to see you guys soon.